hide. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Alright, this is a guidebook or guide video to high school for freshmen. So if you're not, a, if you're not gonna be a freshman this year, step away. All right, hi, fellow fishies. We're juniors in high school, and we're gonna help you out because we know fishies get treated really badly. No, not all the time. Well, depends on on who you know and everything. Who you're, if you have like siblings and they're already in high school, like I do. I have a younger brother who's gonna be a fisherman. And, um, you know, freshmen are always, like, mad at upperclassmen because they're like, oh, they treat us so bad because you act like little kids. Like, we get, we were freshmen once before, too. That's why we don't, like, mess with freshmen. We're friends with some of them. Like, our 3Gs, Gavin, Geo, and Gage. They're awesome freshmen. Mm. Anyway, um... Oh, okay, so if you want to be treated like a regular person or like an upper class and act like one, don't act like a typical freshman who runs around with, like a chicken with his head caught up, cut off. I did that. I didn't say okay. anything during freshman year. Freshman year, I was like the most quiet person in the world. I tried. I don't like talking a lot in front of people. I can't, uh, I just don't like talking to people in general. She's like the only person I talk to. It's like another. <laughs> you know, it's just like, and little tips for you guys, for all the fresh, freshies, freshmen, blah, blah, blah. Be very, very picky about who you hang out with. Because if you hang out with a bunch of emo people, chances are people are going to think you're emo. And there's, it's going to take a lot of convincing to prove to them that you're not emo, if you're really not. Birds of a feather fly together. Exactly. I don't know, that's what my mom says. <laughs> and so same thing for all the other clips, you know? If you hang out with all, like, the cheerleaders that don't think you're too peppy to deal with, or if you're a guy and hang out with all the cheerleaders, you're either a player or gay. One, which is. And there's nothing wrong with either of those as long as you're happy with what you're doing. And you don't try and pressure other people to be gay because that's just awkward. Alright, anyway. And another tip is as soon as you find that one friend who is, is about as normal as can get to being normal is overrated so no, no one's normal anymore, then just stay by them. You know, find them in the hallways, find them at lunch, and if they're not in any of your classes, you really need to get them at lunch, because, like, you don't want to be that awkward freshman sitting alone at the table. Like, I was that awkward freshman. <laughs> For, like, a semester? Well, Ryan maybe sit with him. Anyway, um, help me out here, so... Um, She's on her phone. She don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> my phone is like my life support. Um, I'd have to say, like, I don't know. I'm terrible at advice. No, no, not. We have me for advice all the time. Yeah, well, I don't know these people, so it's kind of hard. Well, I thought they're me. I'm a freshman. Okay, well, freshman Tori. <laughs> um... Try staying out of trouble as much mm -hmm. as you can. Don't mess with teachers. Just don't. Like, if they know your name, it's not for good reason, then try avoiding that. Because that's just no. No. <laughs> and then, um, no. make sure you stay in dress code. They look at the freshmen the most for dress code. <gasps> like, no joke. They sit there and they watch the freshmen like hawk. It's like, it's like the creeper in the bushes or something. It's just like, I'm waiting for that one freshman who's out of dress code. Like, juniors and seniors, they're not going to care as much because, like, we've been here and they're We're like, almost done. Yeah. They don't care. They want us out. I'm kidding. Not really. But, and also, like, if you, like, as soon as you get your, like, rival enemy, don't try and start a fight with your rival because you want to avoid your rival. You really do. Because I have 
a bunch of rivals, and I had, a, and it felt like the whole school was against me my freshman year. My freshman year sucked, and anybody who says their freshman year was like really good and they wouldn't mind going through that again, I don't trust you. You must have been like a bully or something. Because, ugh, no. And also, for, for freshman girls, don't even, ooh, I hate when freshman girls do this. When you try to be all Miss Popular, like, ooh, that just drives me insane. No matter how old you are, freshman or senior, trying to act all Miss Popular, like, oh, look at my fancy new phone, and look at these shoes that I got, like, two hours ago, because I can live life on the edge like that. No. Ugh, it drives me insane. And even when they have that voice, like, ooh. Ooh, I thought of something else. The shoe right. thing brought it up. Do not wear heels. Don't. Because you're going, like, unless Ooh, you unless God. you know how to actually walk in them and you don't look like Bambi whenever you <laughs> first trying to learn how to walk, then you can wear them. But me, personally, I can't walk in heels. I, will I don't wear them. I will break my ankle. I'm heels. lucky I can walk in flat shoes. Exactly. Like, if, you're, if you know you're clumsy, do not wear, like, six-inch heels. And I hate those girls who wears like six inch heels and I'm like wow those are really tall and they're like oh these are my short heels <laughs> what? six inch heels are short? do they even make heels long? yeah tall? I had a uh, oh my God. I had a um fourth grade teacher who would wear heels like this tall oh my God. and like this thin and I was like how, how do you, do you not walk? Break, how do you not break the I heel? I don't know. They're I would, so Thin. Like I have no clue. Like I would have like fell like, and broke the heel. Yeah. And don't be one of those girls. Like okay, I've had my nails done before, but I don't go around flaunting them to everybody. People who just notice them and stuff. I don't walk up. Like I don't even walk up to her and be like, oh hey, look at my nails. They're so yeah, pretty. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't. I don't talk like that for one. And for two, I usually just take a picture like, hey, what do you think of my nails? Do they look good? Okay, I don't brag. Don't be vain. Okay, that's, I think that's my point that I'm just not realizing. Don't be vain. And if you don't know what vain means, either Google it or keep listening because chances are you probably stopped listening to me right now. But being vain means you care so much about your appearance that, like, and you know that's actually a sin. Yeah. Being vain. That's a sin. There's the um I like, read in the Bible. Yeah. Like, oh, and I don't care if you're not Christian, I am. So Yeah, <laughs> deal with it. Yeah. I was about to say something else. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not so Christian like See, exactly. Yeah. Ugh. See, I was trying really hard to stop cussing, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. But anyways, just don't be vain. Like being vain, you care so much about your about yourself, and almost like selfish. And yeah. Especially if you start crying. If you're like, okay, you come to school, you're upset, you're crying, yet you're so vain, you're fixing your makeup while you're crying. Now I get if it's one thing like you're after you're done crying, you want to go fix your makeup because you don't want to walk around looking like a raccoon, but. But you make it while you're crying, what is the point in that? I don't even do that. Now, I'll be wiping my eyes because I want to stop crying, but I'm not trying to fix my eyeliner or my mascara. Ooh, that, that really pissed me off. Oh, that's, that's for all ages, just by the way. I love how half of these are for all ages. But the beginning was for mostly freshmen, though. And, you know, it's just the freshmen, and don't try to bow up to like the quarterback or something or senior Wait, you're not gonna mean? win bow up bow up is like trying to act all tough and oh, it's just like, like oh, yo okay the guys I was like wait yeah. what some girls do it too they fight the quarterback no like oh. guys for guys it's the quarterback and for girls it's like the cheerleader or something or at least that's how it is in the movies I've never actually seen a freshman try to beat up a senior before me either so but don't even try and do that. Like, I'm pretty sure Brian tried doing that. I don't know. I was a seventh grader when he was a freshman, but. Oh, and another thing. Dear little freshman girls, please stay away from the guys who are seniors. 
No, like, they're not, not all of them are terrible, but the ones that try, like, flirting with everyone, not flirting in general, but, like, making moves, I guess. Oh. Yeah, don't be that one freshman girl who's just like, oh, I like him, he's all flirting with me. You don't have to like a guy just because he's flirting with you. It's like, oh, like he told it? you you're pretty? He told that to Susie yesterday. Yeah. Like, he told that to me. Yeah. And, okay, I this is like first-hand type of thing. Don't be attracted to a senior. You could be attracted to a senior, but don't date a senior when you're a freshman. Like... That that just doesn't work out. He graduates that year, first off, and it, it doesn't work. It really doesn't. I don't care how well it works in the movies, it doesn't work in reality, and I really hate when people are like, oh, well, this movie was based off a true story. Well, you know what? You're, that's not your true story. You know? It's, uh, it pissed me off. And, like, I hate when it's, Younger freshman guys, okay, look, here, listen up. Same thing is going, it goes for you too. Don't try and get with an older girl, because the older girl is not going to actually like you. She's going to use you so you can carry her book and just like. No, there are some cases where the girl actually does like the guy. Well, it's very you rare. You make it sound like it's next to impossible. Well, it's, it is very rare though. Because she'll, and plus, if the girl's like a junior or something and you're trying to get with her, she's probably going to want to be with a senior or someone she has more in common well, with anyway. Well, girls normally like older guys, yeah. but it's, like, there are occasions mm. where it's... And at least be taller than the girl, too, because tall guy plus short girl is cute. Tall girl plus short guy is really awkward. That's why I just suck. I'm five foot ten. See, and I'm like five three, so hashtag tall girl problem. <laughs> and freshman girls, don't be so desperate to find a boyfriend that you would like try and put out because it doesn't work like that. Like, stick to your studies. I know that sounds terrible. I sound like a mom. Like, <laughs> oh no, not my studies. But yeah, like throw work yourself on into your work because like the next thing you know, when you're not even looking. A sorry, I'm sorry. But a really good guy is going to come up out of nowhere when you're not looking. When you're looking, you're just going to overlook the good guy. For all you know, he could be like your best friend. Or and it's really awkward and kind of cliche if you think about it. Yeah. But it's true. Like, like, and I don't know how most girls are. Because I know most girls, well, almost every girl I've met, they want to date an older guy. Girls, I don't know why you would date a younger guy. Honestly, I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, sure. the guys are supposed to be, like, more mature. And I know girls mature faster than guys, but... No. Mm, like, mm. That's a really difficult thing. No. That's something you would have to talk about with your mom. There are, like... And if you don't have a mom, try and There's a find few somebody. freshman guys. Like, I thought mom was cute, so... Well, yeah, but you don't know. I'm talking about, like... No, I'm talking about like legit, like me and CJ. I don't. He is the sweetest to be, but a little creepy at times. But I wouldn't date him. Oh, it's so creepy. Be. <laughs> he doesn't go on YouTube, and he doesn't have uh -huh. my channel. Or he might go on YouTube, but he doesn't only have a channel. And if, even if he does, I don't think he actually watch my videos. But like. And he's told me that he, and, oh my god, freshman guys, please do not tell, if an older girl tells you she's not interested, quit pushing her. Okay, she already, she's trying to let you down easy. Pretty soon she's going to start yelling at you, and it's not fun. We don't want to yell at y'all. But um, y'all need to. Yeah, I know. But I'm serious. Just don't pressure, don't, no pressure. Ugh. I don't know. I just won't, I don't know. I need a later, I guess. <laughs> that didn't go so well, but no. okay. Because I hope they were amused by it. 